ladies, how are you? Okay, so it's my five week bump update. So it's really exciting that I have reached five weeks and um, yeah, so basically when I do updates, it's um, so the symptoms and all that sort of stuff that I'm describing is from week four leading up to five weeks. So when I say oh five week symptoms, it's not like five weeks, it's like what I have between week four to get into week five basically so as usual I will start with a update and then go into my symptoms that I've had and all that sort of stuff so <clears throat> with my update I got my next uh, HCG and progesterone results back today I had these tests done at the end of last week or the start of this week and um, so the first test the first ones I had was at 12 DPO and that was 24 and that was my HCG and he wasn't um, happy with that so I went back and had more HCG results and that was at the four weeks and my HCG was 795 so it's definitely gone up and which is really good and it's been within the the, the range that's supposed to be in and my progesterone was 38.8 .8. so that's also gone up but could use some help so I will be going on progesterone um, tablets and um, they're very expensive um, it's three hundred and fifty dollars I need to be on it for six weeks and that's only a four week supply I have two a day um, and where I live they're gonna try and get it in first so I need to start immediately so hopefully they'll get it in tomorrow and I can go straight on it um, but otherwise he's okay with he's okay with the numbers like he said to me don't get excited um, anything can happen <coughs> excuse me um, so it's okay so I'm just trying again stay positive and um, you know just feel good so other than that I have been tracking with um, pregnancy tests um, every two days and um, I took a first response today this morning and this is this is it here and as you can see my test line that is the line that shows that you're pregnant is the darkest one so it beats the control line it came up straight away and went super dark immediately so that's really really comforting and so it's definitely pregnant <laughs> and it's funny when I went to the GP to get my blood test results um, I said I've come to see my blood test results and see my HCG levels and that and he said oh it appears you're pregnant and I went yes that's what I'm here for so so yeah so that he said um that yeah so that's what I'm here for so he was a bit silly but anyway the GP was really happy with my numbers it's only the fertility specialist that isn't happy with my numbers um so of course I can't fully relax but um, yeah I'm okay and he said it's okay but you know just not to get too excited because anything can happen and which is true but I don't want to think negatively I don't want to sit around and wait for a miscarriage to happen because it's just gonna ruin everything it's gonna ruin my experience it's gonna ruin my pregnancy it's gonna put a down on the whole thing and I don't want to be nine months of scared and worried and negativity I'll rather just be positive and happy happy and think positive thoughts and think that this is going to be a perfect beautiful pregnancy and it's gonna you know I'm gonna get to nine months and all that sort of stuff so that's the frame of mind I'm going with so again that's my test love it love it love it love it I'll never get sick of peeing on a stick <laughs> I can say that right now I mean I can just see I'm gonna be doing this all my, all nine months but it's just so beautiful and when you've been trying for a long time and you finally get one it's just gorgeous so now I'm gonna go into my symptoms um, symptoms um, from this week that I've from previous week leading up to this week so I've been experiencing a lot of cramps um, since my last vlog and especially the past three days um, my fertility specialist wasn't concerned about that he said a lot of women have cramping 
um, around this time. He said it's a good sign because it means the baby's getting comfy and that sort of thing. I've never heard it with my previous children, so it's all new to me. Some of the cramps are really bad. Like, I was doubled over in pain. And it felt like contraction, so it was scary. It was scary. I was really scared at some point. I thought, you know, what if this is a miscarriage at that point? It was really scary. Um, dry gagging. I haven't got, like, morning sickness full on yet, but I've been dry gagging at certain smells. And um, some smells I can't stand at all. Which leads me to my next symptom, which is heightened smell. Um, I can smell things like two blocks away. If someone's wearing some cheap, nasty perfume, I can smell it two blocks away. It's horrible. And um, I can't burn my candles or anything that's really irritating my nose at the moment. So heightened smell is a big one this week. Um, still got very sore, swollen boobs. Um, but that's normal. My back and my feet have been aching a lot lately, especially when I'm doing a lot, but that's probably normal as well when I'm doing a lot of work. Um, I'm getting a stitch-like feeling on my sides, on my waist when I'm laying down and trying to turn over in bed. Um, so it's kind of like a stretching and pulling sensation. But, but that's about it for like symptoms. Um, no full on morning sickness yet, knock on wood, because as I mentioned before, I suffer the condition hypermemesis and it's horrible. And if I can have one pregnancy where I don't throw up 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 9 months, I would be happy. I would love to just have a blissful, enjoying pregnancy. I can handle nausea and all that sort of stuff. It's the constant throwing up I can't handle. Um, cravings. I'm still craving fish and chips, probably because I haven't given in to it because I'm trying to be healthy this pregnancy and um, not give in to my cravings constantly, and which I haven't been. And a new one is potatoes. I want potatoes so bad. I don't care if it's a potato bake, potato mash, fried potatoes, grilled potatoes, baked potatoes. I just want potatoes. Again, I haven't really been giving into that sort of thing. Um, I've been having like sweet potatoes and sweet potato mash, that sort of thing. But I want white starchy potatoes. And again, I'm trying to eat healthy, so I haven't been giving into that. Foods I'm loving as dramatically cut back. I'm only really still loving my cereal and cold milk. Um, the hunger is completely gone. I'm becoming really picky with my food and just not that hungry. And when I do when I do get hungry, I've got to eat because I get really lightheaded. So that's another symptom as well. If I don't eat small and regular, I get lightheaded and I feel dizzy. Drinks is still my ice water. Um, I'm not really drinking anything else. Um... I've totally stopped before getting pregnant. I, would, I love my um, Coke Zero. But since getting pregnant, I have hardly any of it. I just can't drink it. And same with coffee. I've cut way back on coffee. Um, mainly I have like one, one cup in the morning. And I never even get to finish it. Products I'm loving um, this week is my water cup. Which I fill up with ice and I take it with me everywhere like today at the doctors I had water and ice because it's a warm day today and I had to walk to the doctors so I had that with me all the way so this is always with me filled with lots of ice cold water and the other product I'm loving is still oh, sorry it's one of the makeup um, items and it's a concealer by Rimmel and it is the Rimmel perfect match sorry Rimmel Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer. So it's going to show up backwards though because I'm on my phone. But this goes a long, long, long way. You need like the tiniest of dot and it will cover the whole under eye. So this little tube, which is 7 mils, is going to last a long time, which is really good. And it does a really great job. It's a concealer and highlighter in one. And because I've had like some sickness nights lately, it's covering up my dark circle. So I'm loving that this week. Um... Products that I've brought this week. Again, I haven't really been buying that much. I've only brought, I've only got a few things that I buy online. And, um, sorry for the, oh, I'm on the phone. But I brought two things this week. And one is this gorgeous, I hope it shows up okay. It's this gorgeous blanket. It's from the children's place.com. And I got off like a little baby boutique in Australia. It's so super soft and it's just really beautiful and soft. It's like a christening blanket, but it's just really soft and it's just a lovely ivory off-white colour, so it's beautiful. And they had a sale on um, 
Carter's singlets. So I just brought a little pack of neutral colours. And we don't have um, Carter's in Australia. I know it's an American brand and we don't have it here in Australia, but you can get it in some on some online boutiques. And that's where I got these ones from. And I think I've got size 0 to 3 months. So I haven't opened these yet, but they're really cute. Especially like the little bottom one, I think. That's so adorable. So, they are cutters, aren't they? Yeah. Pregnancy brain. Okay, so that's all I've brought this week. Um, not too much to update on, I'm afraid. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. I'm so far loving this pregnancy and I'm enjoying it. Um, no bump as such. I've still just got like a little poochy thing left over from previous children. So there's no bump really to show yet. So I won't be doing that yet. Um, I think that's about it. Feel free again to ask me any questions. I will be filming a TTC giveaway um, soon. I've got the OPKs. I'm just waiting on the pregnancy tests now to come through. So once I've got everything, I'll be filming that and putting that up for all you lovely ladies. And um, once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support and your comments and questions. And I appreciate every single one of you for supporting me on my journey. And I'll talk to you all again really soon. Bye.